What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here and I know usually I'm not typically a channel that kind of reviews mechanics in Smash as much as I review news but this is one that I definitely had to get my hands on and it involves landing lag data of all the characters. Now you know naturally speaking every time a character doesn't move in the air they have a certain amount of lag before they can make another movement when they get on the ground and when I make when, you know when I say make another movement I ain't talking about flatulence I'm talking about actually making another attack but then again most of you do know this in general so we actually here um, have a reddit article which showcases a landing lag table which shows all the characters landing lag values who has the least amount of landing lag in the game and who has the most it's really interesting to see where the characters rank up because they kind of lie in where you would expect but some things are a bit surprising as well too now this may be outdated as I was looking through the reddit thread they were talking about how oh some of these are outdated you know zero suit Samus and um, we fit trainer have since had a patch that had their air dodge landing lag increase to the standard 22 frames. We'll go into that a little bit later on. But um, here's a graph as well too, so we'll open that up. And um, let me see, here's some more facts as well too, but I don't want to get into those until we have like the most accurate chart here. So let me see. Well, this one may be a little bit outdated, but it wouldn't be values that are too off. If anything, they might have just increased everybody's landing lag data from doing an air dodge to the standard that of 22, because that's the standard right now. So anyways, let's take a look at this. So as you guys can see right here, this pretty much has the landing lag data for everybody. So from Bowser all the way to Kirby, you can see that um, here it just showcases their regular weight. So the character's standard weight Bowser's is 128 being the heaviest character in the game and it pretty much goes down from there but the character's alignment is a bit off but that's mainly because it's pretty much aligning the characters from who has the most landing lag to who has the least. Now you may say oh well you know the weight of Bowser is you know more than Charizard why is Bowser at the top? Simply because his combined landing lag of all his moves is 178 which is the biggest amount of lag possible so you know it doesn't mean Bowser is a bad character necessarily but it means that using any of his aerials you're going to get a whole lot of time on the ground inactive before you're able to actually strike again and I'm not talking about a whole lot of time like a few minutes but just you know a couple of seconds of where they cool down you know like when you see them get up or whatever um, now if we go further down this list we will get to the character who has the least amount as some of you might have seen in the article already but um Bowser is pretty much at the top of the landing lag list Pikachu surprisingly has a ton of landing lag considering it's a quick light character Pikachu's amount of landing lag is pretty severe and its weight is pretty low too but then again the landing lag chart is placed in here upon the character's weight as well so it's kind of like a comparison thing but either way Pikachu has a lot of landing lag here so Pikachu's neutral air the one where he does the ball gives you a lot of lag on the ground so does his, actually his fair isn't really too bad the one where he spins isn't the fair the one where he spins forward and then the back air uh, it's hard for me to remember what Pikachu's moves are exactly I know what they are but I just don't remember which one goes to which button but yeah Pikachu has a ton of landing lag the down air adds a ton of it which is 38 frames of landing lag that definitely makes a lot of sense because you know when Pikachu does the down air he does that thing where he smashes his face into the ground and leaves an electric charge all over the field that takes him a while to get up from he's like <laughs> pika <laughs> it's fucking hilarious but now another thing that's interesting here is that duck hunt dog is there and you know i always figured duck hunt dog was more of wait whoa, whoa, whoa hold on hey a minute wait wait no ddd oh excuse me <laughs> oh shit i thought that was um duck hunt dog but no that's ddd king ddd because uh, ddd doesn't match up with duck hunt that's dhd but i mean Either way, yeah, DDD has a lot of lag as well too. Naturally speaking, all the characters who are big would be up here on this list. We're probably going to see, um, we're probably going to see uh, Donkey Kong up here as well too. Then again, I don't see him here. I really don't see him here, so I guess Donkey Kong doesn't have as much lag as you would think. Let's see, let's search it right now. Donkey Kong. Did they forget Donkey Kong on the list? Oh, Donkey. Oh, oh, okay. So they have Diddy here. I don't think they have Donkey Kong, though. Or maybe they just have an under a different name. Either way, this chart will be linked in the description so you can see for yourselves. I'm having a little bit of trouble finding the DK, but I mean, maybe his name is DK. And I can't edit this list anymore. Okay. Um, DK. There we go. Okay, so DK is number 10 in the landing lag. 
you know what he has no style and he has no grace and you know that's understandable considering he has the 10th biggest amount of landing lag here coming in at around 135 but now so you probably are wondering you know what's the rest of this list for this list combines the values of their air dodges and you know aerial attacks depending on what you want to know so for example this value combines everything their neutral air forward back up down and their air dodge as well and that all adds up to their overall lag value but then we have everything minus their dodge value which is 135 because if you do 135 minus um, 22 you're going to get 113 so that's basically how it goes so if you really wanted to see if you didn't really care about their air dodge lag then by all means go ahead and look at um, the other number afterwards because it doesn't count in their air dodge lag in comparison with all the lag that they have for all their aerial moves now one thing that's interesting here is that Lil Mac of course being a ground behemoth um, he has less landing lag from an air dodge. So as you can see here, it says air dodge here. Lil Mac's air dodge value is lower than everybody else's, which is 19. That's ridiculous considering that, you know, he's, but then again, he's really adept on the ground, but they had to give him a little something, I guess. His air dodge value is slightly lower, so he'll be able to go into shield, throw out a counterattack a lot faster than anyone else. I mean, that, those two frames mean something. But the thing is, is that, you know, since his aerial game sucks, anything else he does in the air leaves him really vulnerable. Um, as you can see, the neutral air, forward air, back air, up air, all of it leaves him super open. So it kind of adds to the whole thing of Lil Mac being horrible on the ground. But hey, that's what you get for choosing Lil Mac. And so now let's go over to the top of the list. Um, if you wanted to know where my dude Robin is, he has a lot of lag, man. Like 20, 20, 21, 20, 28, and 22. Everyone's air dodge value is 22 except for a chosen few amount of characters who are all at the bottom of the list. Well, at the top, rather. But um, yeah, Robin doesn't really get doesn't really get like the good distribution in terms of air lag values but now going to the top of the list who has the least amount of landing lag daddy sakurai had to do himself a solid here it's kirby but zero suit samus follows closely behind and kirby's lag values are fucking ridiculous like you know he has a weight of 77 so you know you're going to be able to kill him really early but look at his freaking i think this is his up air value his nair fair bear um up air okay so i mean all of his values are really low here i mean Look at this. This is his air dodge value, I think, and it's the same as everyone else's, but look at Zero Suits, 15. Like I said, this may be outdated, so maybe in the update they made her value, you know, more fitting for everybody else, but look at that, 15. And then we Fit Trainer, in comparison to everyone else's 22 value of air dodge um, landing lag, Zero Suit has, I mean, excuse me, um, we Fit has 12. You know, so that motherfucker, he's been getting fit in the gym. You know, stretch your arms so you can promote a healthy <laughs> lifestyle. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, so I mean, this list is very interesting, and it definitely is something to take into account if you're thinking about picking up a new character. But uh, what did this make you think? I mean, do you feel the same way about your main as you usually do? I feel like I need to pick up another character. I'm not going to drop Robin, but I need somebody else. Somebody who, you know, I mean, somebody who will be able to contrast with Robin really well. So that way, if I'm in a situation where Robin's ass gets kicked, I can pick up someone else and potentially put up a good fight. But, you know, we'll see how things go. Sonic is probably down here as well, too. Then again, his landing lag data for him in the mo in the air is a little bit big. Yeah, yeah, Sonic has a lot. I figured he does because, you know, whenever he does his down air, he's on the ground for at least a second. And then when he does his side air, he's laying on the ground for a second. It's crazy. But, um... Alright guys, let me know what you think about this. This definitely doesn't mean that the characters with the least landing lag are the best characters, obviously, because, you know, Kirby's down here. Although Kirby's not a bad character, but, you know, it definitely doesn't mean that the characters who have less landing lag are, you know, better than everyone else. But it's something to take into account if you're thinking about using a character. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.